Welcome back to Facing the Nation. Of course, thanks for staying tuned. Um, now we're on to the second half, and as I did tell you that today we're dedicating the entire program to local government business, local government elections business. And again, another first today. It's my pleasure to welcome to Facing the Nation for the first time, Miss Tricia Richards. Um, those of you who are big on Facebook, especially big on social media, she's one of the first APNU candidates. And when I say first, that's one of the first photos we saw. And, you know, the star was created and we're really happy for, for, for her in that sense. And I like to remind you that any candidate you're seeing on this program from now on to uh, local government elections, which is on the 12th of November, any candidate you see here and you vote, that vote is for APNU. So, and that, that is where we want it. Again, I can't stress this enough. A reminder, we are a coalition government, but in terms of local government elections, we're not running as a coalition. We are running as a partnership for national unity. Tricia, welcome to Facing the Nation. Hi, Malika. Good afternoon to you. Thank you for having me here. Uh -huh. um, also, a special good day to the people of Guyana and especially the, my constituents in East and West Rongveld who are consti constituency number 13. 13, okay. Yeah. All right, great. Viewers, um, a fact, again, 2016, we've had local government elections for the first time after so many years, so some of you may not necessarily be up to scratch on everything. I think it's important for you to know that Tracy is not new with this. Um, she's already a councillor. Yes. Let's talk about your journey sure. so far, councillor, and why people should vote in people in your, uh, the number of the constituency. No, constituency number 13. Number 13, Which right. is East and West Rongville. Good. Yes. Let's talk about your journey so far, especially as a councillor, and why people should vote you again. Um, I would say that going into council in 2016, I think everybody had a shock because mm -hmm. you had so much expectations yeah. in terms of that you will be able to do a whole set of things for your community and so on. Mm -hmm. But given the financial situation of the council, you let you got a shock right away and you realize that you know you can't do everything that you you would like you to you do. You can't walk on water. Right. <laughs> but um, I've been persistent in my constituency. When I went up for council the last time, this mm -hmm. present time, I went as a PR councillor, meaning proportional representative. I was selected from the party uh, in the council. Mm -hmm. So this time I'm going up as the constituency candidate for constituency number 13, mm -hmm. meaning I'll have a more direct interface with the people in the area, providing stuff and so on for them, services and, and a whole heap of things. But I've been doing some work even before um, so I've been persistent. Even though the council, you can't get everything that you want done there. I've been lobbying ministers and other ministries and agencies where I could get services, infrastructural development for my community. Mm -hmm. I was able um, to lobby minister within the Ministry of um, Infrastructure to get a bridge. I call it the Link It Up Bridge because it, um, it joins East and West Rongville. So it's easy for persons who commute in and all of that and get goods and service through all the two communities. I've been able to recently got um, through the council and through the Ministry of Communities to get a $24 million subvention to go to the East Rongville market. So right now as we speak, there's work on going there. Mm -hmm. We get and it's you know, and it's important to emphasize that nothing was done over a long period. So I'm very happy that I could have been a part of that, getting um, the fence because they didn't have any fence. So we're having the fence done. We're having gates for the first time in a long time. We're having the sanitary block completely redone. I think it's two or three. We're having lights put up. The revenue office is redoing. Um, we're having the road, which is in a terrible condition. We're having that redone right now. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the projects that is ongoing right now. Um, Tracy, even before you continue, I know you have a lot going yeah. on. And um, uh, did I lose the thought? No. Um, when uh, Madam Mayo was here earlier, one of the things she talked about is the fact that a resident, a resident approached her to... Um, have this caravan established yeah. in a certain area for books and so on. Now, that is a good initiative, and it's a very new initiative. Apart from which these things we are grateful for, yeah. the bridges, the roads, the lights, and so on. Apart from that, do you see in those two communities, in your constituency, east and west, that there is a need for 
creative initiatives like these that would serve especially uh, not only young people, mm -hmm. but, you know, and again, be a positive for the community. Do you feel that there's a space for that in your constituency? Yes, there is a space and there is a need for that. Um, uh -huh. I'm always willing. You could call me the middle of the night <laughs> when it's to do anything for the community. I'm there and I'm willing to work with any um, group social group that is willing to do works. I've done a lot with different groups, um, with different people. Even as recently we had, um, we're doing mm -hmm. house to house verifying, yeah. um, vote, um, the voters list and so on. And some persons in Shoppers Lane, good afternoon to the people in Shoppers Lane who approached me about cleaning up their community. So right away we were able to get um, form a group of young people and persons who are interested in cleaning the community. So Sunday we're coming out, we're getting a tree wood that is blocking drainage and all that, we're getting that to be cut down. Right now I left um, some persons left to go there to look at it. And so we're having this, and, and these things are important. Civic participation is a big thing because as the mayor said earlier, it's not only about what the council could do for you, you we have to remember that this is our community, this is where we live, so we have to pay attention to it first. I mean, given the council situation, if your drain is um, overflow and they got bushes and so on, come together. And if it's, is there any need for assistance in terms of um, current way of garbage, if there's needs for tools and equipment, we're willing to assist because you're helping us to help you, and that's important. So, you know, initiatives like this helps to create a social, um, a social, a more community oriented yeah. thing because happening. You, you know, you chat about things and you learn from each yeah. other while you work. Yeah. So indeed. You talked about the fact that I know this is a fact, viewers, I must also say that even though I don't live in East Ramvelt, I am a part of the yeah. uh, the Ramvelt Transformation Group, of course, that is for the, the PNC. So I am a part of her group yes. and, and I'm proud to be a part of it too. You talked about the, whole, the house to house registration that's happening. Uh, as you go house to house, and I think this has been happening for two weeks now, for about two weeks. Two, two to, to three, three weeks, weeks now, yes. As you go house to house and you're talking to people and the residents and so on, are you getting, do you find that you're getting balance whereby people are actually acknowledging what was done in terms of the progress made and they're also talking about, look, man, this needs to be done and that. Do you find that you're getting a sort of balance and that, you know, they're willing to continue giving AP and you a chance? Um, first of all, I, you know, I think that on my part, I mean, I've been doing a lot, but I, even though I'm big on social media and so on, um, I need to highlight more because people, okay. you know, you would see things happening, but you don't know that the council had some sort of um, input in that for it to happen. So I need to highlight the, the things that I do more. Um, people have been saying, you know, because when I do things like the East Rongville market, I get that done and I get the East Rongville, um, playground done and, yes, and, and the I ground haven't seen any of and people are saying oh so what about west i want to tell the persons in west i'm coming to west because okay. you know you can't get everything done at the same, same time, time because mm -hmm. you when you go to um ministry of social cohesion and the sports um you will ask the stuff to be done but then you, you remember the whole of Guyana yeah, they're looking right. after so, so I'm coming to West. I know that I've made some promises for the, the West Rongville Grong, but we're going to look at that. You know, the main thing is that we have started and now we could continue to, you know, the progress that we have started so far. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. A lot said. I, of course, I wouldn't know everything that is going on in terms of what you would want to make, make public. So I, I want to give you, a, you know, another opportunity to talk to the public. Why should yeah. they vote for you? What, what are, uh, you know, other things that once you return as councillor, what, what they can expect? Um, and uh, before oh. I go on, the, the most important thing, your face will be on yes, the Yes, you're so. voting for APNU, which is a partnership for national unity at the top, and mm -hmm. you're voting for Tracy Richards at the bottom. Um, so for constituency number 13, so you look for the palm at the top and you look for my face at the bottom, you'll see it, so you just vote there. Okay. Um, in terms of what I plan to do, yeah. I don't want to make promises, but right now we have some work ongoing and I should let the people know that um, each constituency was allocated $5 million mm -hmm. and um, you know, we sat down, myself and the other council, we thought about what should we do with this money because we didn't want to do drainage work because you want to touch every part of the constituency. And, and so we decided to name this project the Light It Up Initiative. So in each 
for the main road, which is the front road, we put in, we are coinciding with the President Green Initiative, and we put in full LED lights all through west and east front road, going to the back road, and we also going into the individual streets where there's no light and putting up lights and so on. We have the East, Rungbelt, East and West Rung Belt Canal Pro Restoration Project that is going to be on board very soon, something that I have lobbied the Ministry of Communities a year now, and I've finally gotten, mm -hmm. you know, some assistance from them. So we're having that canal clean soon. Um, in terms of the things that I would want to do, I've already been in contact with different ministries. Um, for instance, Ministry of Infrastructure with Minister Annette Ferguson. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about getting mm -hmm. solar panels installed on all public buildings within the constituency. Mm -hmm. So like the health center, the Perfect. community center, and so on, we're getting that done. Um, another thing I would like to see done, or I'm already in the process of looking after, is putting up a document in council um, on what it would cost to do effective cleaning and maintenance of the community, both East and West Rongville. Um, I think this is necessary because we flood. So what it will cost to do as it is now and what it will cost to continue it. To, yeah, so, to so that we can lobby the council and advocate so that East and, Rungville, East and West Rongville could get some, some assistance there. And if it's necessary, if we get some from the council, of course, we're going to communities and we're going to um, infrastructure to see how best we can do that. And I also emphasize on self-help. Mm -hmm. Because even if we don't get the response that we want, if we get some assistance, maybe the, the rest that we would like to do, we could do it with um, civic participation. Because as I said again, this is our community and this is, we have to take the initiative first. Okay. Yes. All right. Perfect. Uh, certainly a lot. It's, it's, it's a lot that yes. <laughs> that's coming um, at me. And again, another opportunity um this is even before we wrap up our conversation if there's anything because it is really important for you to get everything that you know that you've done and everything yeah. that you're planning to do i mean out there they're and, not and you're i'd like to talk you to talk a bit about your apart from the work of itself your experience in sitting on a council because you're sitting on a council that is bashed left right and center and for some reason every single day we find a reason to beat <laughs> up on the the, yeah. the city council and i in terms of experience, I'm speaking from experience here, they have improved. So yeah. for you, the, the, how do you deal with the challenges of that? Because you're going to get a lot of negative criticism. Yeah, you do, way. but I think it's your approach is one. Um, I'm always willing to listen to residents and people who have issues because um, it's important that we listen to them and see how we can improve services and so on. Um, but my experience so far, as I said, it was... Uh, um, a shock that you can't get all that all you could have stuff. you would want to do mm -hmm. but i i believe in persistence because when you're representing the people you don't just give up at one door i would knock all 10 down <laughs> and then start back at one if i have to mm -hmm. so it's not only about the council representation but different agencies even um ngos i have approached ngo i've done work with usaid and all and different organizations and so on so um, I've learned a lot, and even with criticism, we continue to improve. To improve. Um, I always say that before I got into council and all of that, I was really impressed with 2015 elections. Mm -hmm. And as a young person, I wanted to be a part of that change. So I decided to get involved, and that's where, that's how I'm now involved in all these things. Sometimes I try to look back, how I get involved in this thing? Mm -hmm. And it's because of volunteering. I volunteer with the council. I volunteer in my community. I, you know, I did clean up campaigns and give a change to the community, places that were dumb side. When you see young people come out and clean this area, I, I mean, it brings about this kind of change that people don't want to dump there. And we've, we've turned dumb sites and so on into open spaces so that persons could play and all of that. So that's how I got involved in council. And, and because of my volunteer work, I got involved and it reached to this level. And I'm happy because when I started, I have our youth group named Rongville Youth Developers, and we started cleaning up the community. We gave out, because um, for Lane Avenue, 
we did um, give back for school stuff for school, Christmas and all that. But I wanted to expand that, yeah. Right? So I'm now able to do a lot more. And it really pleases my heart that I can do these things in my community and make a positive change and a difference. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right, perfect. I don't think you've missed anything. Uh, <laughs> you have indeed said a lot, viewers. Yeah. A reminder, Miss um, Tricia Richards is from Constituency 13. Of yeah. course, those communities are East Ramveld and West Ramveld. So when you go to vote on the 12th, Monday the 12th of November, you are voting uh, as uh, both the mayor and Tricia herself explained. You're voting at the top, which is for the party, the partnership, a partnership for national okay. unity, which means you're looking for the palm, the palm symbol with the other parties in the coalition inside of the palm. And at the bottom, you will see her face on the ballot paper. Remember, for every different constituency, there is a different face that you will see. Yeah. I'm not sure how many APN you candidates um, will, be able to, will be able to push in between now and the 12th of November, but we're going to try our very best. Tricia, thank you so very much for being on Facing the Nation. And of course, I can't vote for you yeah. because I'm not voting in that Right, but I know you. I have your but support. Yes, and my heart is with you and all of those persons who yeah. Both, and I really hope they vote for you. So congratulations, yes. and thanks for being on Facebook. So thank Nation. you for having me, Laika, and I, um, I'm asking the, per the people in East and West Rongville to come out solidly and vote on November 12th for mm -hmm. the Partnership for National Unity and also for Tracy Richard. Vote for Tracy Richard for con um, continuous development. Mm -hmm. Remember, local government election is our own. It's mm -hmm. we thing. Thank you. Okay. All right. <laughs> Great. Viewers, this is Facing the Nation. We'll take a quick break. On the other side of the break, uh, the break we'll prepare to wrap up today's program. Stay tuned. All right. That was nice.